Hey guys, over the summer we had a contest on our TV show for one of our viewers to get their boat coated for free with non-skid. And the offer was made by Tough Coat, the non-skid coating company. And standing next to me is Bill from Tough Coat. Hey Bill. And uh, Bill had all kinds of people apply for this. And the winner is Jeff from Fallbrook. Hey Jeff. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. And Bill, I know it was a long process. We had a bunch of applications, hundreds of them. Oh yeah. And uh, it took you a little while to go through them all. We got together in Florida when I was there for ICAST. And uh, Bill lives down there part of the year doing a lot of fishing. <laughs> and uh, we went through a whole bunch of the applications. And what was one of the reasons you picked Jeff? Well, his boat looked pretty bad for one. <laughs> um, so I thought it'd be a perfect, perfect way to show off the product. and show you how it can take a an ugly boat and make it look beautiful and, and give you some good traction mm -hmm. the other thing is you know reading into it he, he volunteers a lot down at camp pendleton mm -hmm. works with a lot of the kids down there mm -hmm. um he, he donates a lot of time in other areas and i thought that was kind of cool of, of, of uh, some of the stuff he does for the community yeah and the boat will be used that way yes sir that's pretty cool and if you've never had your boat covered with the non-skid the non-skid by tough coat is great i have it on my boats and what i like about it's a rubber coating it's you know, it's all practical, it's really nice. But we'll be talking more about that later. But we're here today because Bill is gonna keep his word for the contest <laughs> winner for Jeff. He flew all the way in to come here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and watch Bill get started on how you put on the Tough Coat non-skid on a boat. And congratulations again, Jeff. Thank you. Good job. Thanks. Jeff's boat is a 75 skipjack. Um, he's done a really good job of keeping it, uh, keeping it in good shape. Uh, there's a lot of repairs over the years, a lot of different colors. He's got a couple of different hatches off other boats in here. So uh, um, there's a lot of spider cracks. These boats, uh, when they start getting old, they get the spider cracks. And then you got to grind them all down and uh, uh, refiberglass everything and fare it all in. With the tough coat, you don't have to do that. Prior to showing up here yesterday, I had Jeff clean the boat. He used Zep Purple completely scrubbed it, got all the oil. I mean, you never know what hits this, uh, fish oil, it could be outboard oil, it could be engine oil, whatever. Uh, so he cleaned all the oil up first. Then we went ahead and he uh, scuffed the entire surface with 100 grit paper. What we did yesterday after I got here, we went ahead and masked it all off and then applied our CP10 primer. The CP10 is also water-based, real simple to put down. Put the primer down, we waited overnight, now we're ready to apply the tough coat. We're using three gallons in, uh, in Jeff's boat. So what I like to do is take and dump the separate cans into a five. It's easier to use, add a little bit of water before I, before I stir it up. Just makes it simpler. You just dump it in, dig the rubber out of the bottom. The rubber is what makes the tough coat so good. So it's not really hard. It just takes a couple minutes, but it'll make the job easier once you get it done. Here's the rubber that's kind of in, gets down to the bottom of the can. But you can see how, uh, how, how much rubber we actually use. It'll go onto the surface of your boat. Um, it also keeps everything flexible. It doesn't wear out because it, uh, there's rubber actually all the way through the coating. To stir the tough coat, we use a half inch drill. Put a, put a mixer on the end of it, and you just uh, put it inside and just slowly mix it for about two minutes. You can see the rubber granules in there. Go along the bottom of the bucket, making sure you get everything mixed. Once again, tough coat is water-based, so I just clean it with water. We're ready to go. We tape all the edges. This blue tape works real well. We're just taping the edges just to keep it from uh, flowing down in this little gutter right here. We masked the whole boat yesterday and some today. But it's always better to get a get a good bead of tape down so you you know protect things, you don't gotta stop and wipe stuff up. Uh, 
the tough coat, put in the pail. It's all mixed up, a little bit of water. Makes it a little thinner, easier to use. We use a special tough coat roller. You can only get these from us. Do not use a regular roller to try to roll tough coat. It will look terrible. You need this roller. They're not expensive. Just get one from us. I cut in with a foam brush. Uh, being water-based, the tough coat will not eat the foam. But it, it gives you a nice square. It's almost like troweling it up in corners, around uh, pipes, uh, around, you know, like his, uh, his aluminum pipes and stuff on the, on the uh, tower, around the cleats. Works real good. Make sure you use a foam roller and a foam brush. They work the best. We're using the foam brush to cut in around these edges. Let's put it in there kind of heavy and then just kind of trowel it out of there. But we're going to hit all the edges first. You don't care how, if it's beautiful right off the bat because the second coat's really going to make it stand out. Okay, we're getting ready to roll the main body of the boat, the floor. We did our cut in. We've got tape masking all over the place so we're protected. Tough coat roller. I usually put a little bit of water on it on a hot day like this just so the, the uh, tough coat doesn't dry up inside this, the little cells here. Just go into the bucket, fill the roller, make sure it's full, no, no bare spots, and then just roll the material down on the floor, nice and slow. You can usually get two passes out of it. Do not try to stretch it. If you try to stretch it, all you're gonna have is rubber. Then I'll come back up like this and cross it Kind of blend it all in. Real simple to do. Just like that. Then go back in the bucket, make sure it's full. The color we're using today is our Key West sand. Um, we had talked about going with the blue, and then we thought maybe that the sand would be a little cooler and it matches the boat a lot better. We make a variety of colors. There's 23 standard colors. And I think if you buy over 10 gallons, we'll custom match for you. Any color you want. Lay it straight out. Make sure the roller keeps rolling. If it doesn't roll and you just blob it, it's just going to build up the rubber. So I just try to get a lot of material on the surface. To start. Then I kind of work with what I have on the surface. Tough coat can also be sprayed. If you feel like doing the masking, it's, it's, uh, it's a great reward because it uh, goes down a little finer, a little more even. But we use the drywall hopper gun. Just a regular texture gun. Hey Bill, looks like you did an awesome job again, man. Yeah, thanks. Turned out good. Yeah, the second coat just got put on right now and a couple hours, this will be totally dry ready to take off all the rest of the tape on it. Just looks really good. Congratulations, Jeff. Thank you. And what do you think about this Thank experience you. working with? I love it. It's terrific. I so appreciate you guys doing this for me, and I'm looking forward to going fishing next week. Yeah, you don't have you to do. worry about sliding around anymore with all this non-skid. <laughs> no. And look at look at it, the spider cracks, gone. Beautiful. You know? Yeah, I remember when you started, there was like different colors on the deck. Yeah. There's the different parts and stuff that you had on here. Now it just looks nice, beautiful, and uniform. Very nice. Yeah, you're going to like this, and especially on hot days like today when you're out in the water, you can be barefooted, and it's not going to affect your feet. It's going to feel really good to have this on my boats, and you're going to really like it. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's uh, the Tough Coat Non-Skid Contest. Jeff was the winner, and Bill came all the way down from Tough Coat to do the install and do the coating and the painting on it, and this Non-Skid came out perfect. Thanks again, Bill. You bet. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. All right, we're gonna just heard from Bill that he had 
we had such a good response that he wants to do another one for next year, for 2018. So pretty soon we're going to be announcing on the TV show when you can apply, and we'll be putting up here on YouTube too. But uh, this came out really good, so look for another winner for next year, and maybe this could be your boat. It doesn't have to be a boat like this. It could be a larger boat with a cockpit. It could be a 24, 25 foot boat like this, the whole inside of the cockpit all done like this. You know, uh, Bill's gonna look for other boats too. Could be aluminum, doesn't have to be glass, could be wood. We're gonna be talking about that coming up soon in future blogs. So look for that for another contest from Tough Code Non-Skid Coatings. Well, thanks guys. We'll talk to y'all later.